Hi guys, um, come read the word with me today. Today's scripture is Hebrews 4.16, and this is the NIV version. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That's today's power text. Today's story is called Don't Be Shy. Daniel awoke. He looked at the sky through the open window. It was still gray. His room was chilly. The sun was not up yet. Daniel drew on his robe and crossed the room to the window. He knelt down on the beautiful oriental carpet and rested his elbows on the windowsill. He gazed out of the quiet city. Babylon was such a beautiful place. Palm trees stirred in the early morning breezes. Daniel could even see some of the trees from the world-famous hanging gardens that King Nebuchadnezzar had built for his wife. Yes, Babylon was probably the most beautiful city in the entire world, but it was a city dedicated completely to false gods. There was evil everywhere. Daniel lived in Babylon, but he was not at home there. How many years now had he knelt at this same window? Daniel combed his fingers through his hair as his mind slid back through time. It was about 66 years since he had been stolen away from his homeland. 66 bittersweet years. It had been a horrifying experience to be ripped from his home and his family and led away in chains as a captive to the court of the heathen king. But once he had accepted the fact that this was God's will for his life, there had been sweetness too. His, his smile faded. Now he was an old man in a foreign land and an old man who truly longed to be home. There was no place on earth like Jerusalem. It was God's holy city. His temple was there. It was a special city for God's special people. Daniel's heart had never left it. Overcome with grief, he felt tears flow down his cheeks. Daniel rose slowly. He took off his royal robe. He searched for the sackcloth ugly, uncomfortable fabric. He slid it on. Sackcloth was worn by mourners and captives. And today, that's exactly what da Daniel felt like. He might be an honored member of the king's court, but he was a mourner and a captive. He sprinkled ashes on his head and wiped some more of them on the sackcloth. He would dedicate this day to prayer. He would talk to God about how he felt, and today he would fast. No food would pass his lips. Nothing would distract him from his prayers. He knelt again in front of the window. Daniel's mind replayed the words he had read the previous night. Words written by the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says, when Babylonia's 70 years are over, I will show my concern for you and keep my promise to bring you back home. I will bring you back to the land from which I sent you away to exile. I, the Lord, have spoken. Daniel's heart leaped at the thought. Seventy years of captivity were almost over. It was almost time for the Lord to take them home. But what if God changed his mind? What if God decided that his people had not learned their lesson about the fatal danger of worshiping idols and false gods? Would God leave them here forever in this foreign land? Lord God, you are great and we honor you. We have sinned, he prayed. We have been evil. We have done wrong. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets who spoke in your name. O oh God, hear my prayer and pleading. Restore your temple, which has been destroyed. Restore it so that everyone will know that you are God. Daniel paused. We are praying to you because you are merciful, not because we have done right. Lord, hear us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, listen to us and act. And Daniel went on praying.
He confessed his own sins and the sins of his people of Israel. He pleaded with the Lord to restore his holy temple. Daniel knew without a doubt that the Lord had heard him. The angel Gabriel, whom he had seen before in a vision, was there with him. Gabriel spoke gently. The moment you began praying, a command was given. I am here to tell you what it was, for God loves you very much. Daniel took a deep breath. A wonderful smile spread over his face. He worshipped a God who heard him, a God who loved him, a God full of grace and mercy, who keeps his promises to his children. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Sorry for the noise. They're doing some sort of construction outside. Um, please continue to come back and read the word with us. I'll see you guys for the next scripture or story. And I thank you again for joining us. So let's close with prayer. Lord, thank you for providing us the scripture today and uh, the Bible story that we've read. I ask that you uh, get this video out to all those who may not know you and those of us who need to grow closer to you who know your name. Uh, dear Lord, I ask that you provide clarity and understanding with today's story and encouragement for us to continue to open up the word and read every day. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you for giving us another day for waking us up this morning and providing us a platform to come and commune in your presence. Dear Lord, I ask that you allow us to have a blessed and anointed day today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, guys, see you next time. Remember, scripture a day helps keep that devil away. Bye.